Hello everyone, it's Aster bringing you both a haul, or, well, three things, a haul video, an unboxing video, and a review video, <laughs> all in one. So this is a box and it's a subscription box. Now it's from somebody on Instagram, it, they're called Time Capsule bag or box I cannot remember the exact name um, I'll link them if I can remember too in the description but basically what this is there's three options I got the most expensive option it's a box of nostalgia there's going to be uh, toys books VHS all that sort of thing in here and it's $36 a month. Again, I got the most expensive option. And the nice thing about this, or so I thought, was the person who's doing all of this, he sends you a um, survey of 10 or 11 questions. And they're like questions like, What's the year you were born? What did you read when you were a kid? What were your favorite movies? Any favorite characters? So it's curated to you and your lights. It's not just random stuff. Or so I thought. So I went into this because I was like, you know, there's some really specific things that I would love to get. So I told him, you know, very specific things. Now, this uh, usually comes with either a Funko Pop figurine or a t-shirt. And it actually, he actually asks you what size of a t-shirt you are. Now, I have a lot of t-shirts and I'm on the bigger side. So finding a t-shirt that I would like that's in a size that would fit me is a little hard. So I told him... I don't want a t-shirt. I'd rather you spend that money on more toys. Especially since I was picking out things that were more expensive. Um, told him I like anime, uh, Sailor Moon, Tenchi Munio. Uh, I like My Little Pony, Generation 1. Uh, Care Bears. Um... Various other things, uh, She-Ra figures, I told him I clicked that. Um, he does ask uh, if you were to get something like a nostalgia uh, video game, what would you like? Like what, um, what nostalgic consoles do you own? And I told him, if you're actually planning on giving me a video game, you're going to need to contact me for more, more um, information because I don't, I'm a collector. I have a thousand, over a thousand video games, so the chances of getting a duplicate game that I already have is high. So I told him just, you know, tell me to give you specifics if you want, but he didn't contact me for that, so... There's a few issues here. Um, it's not as curated as I thought it would be. I mean, there are some things that in here that uh, I, you know, it checks off that box of I do want that, and I'm glad I did. But there's some things that I'm like, he just threw this in to fill up the box. Because I was like, really, you could put more uh, effort into it? honestly, because um, there's some generic stuff in here that I did not say that I liked at all. Um, I guess I would recommend this person, or, you know, this box, if you are just starting out as a collector and you literally only have a few items, because uh, <laughs> for a collector, it's not great. Um, and, uh, don't be specific, because he doesn't do specific items. So, let me just get into it, and as we go along, I'll say what I think about it. The items. 
So first up we have a Cabbage Patch Kid Happy Meal figurine, uh, still in the bag. Now I believe I mentioned that I do like Cabbage Patch Kids, so this is a, this is a plus. Um, I do actually have this figurine, however I do not have her in the bag, so this is a plus. We have one plus. Next we have another bagged Happy Meal toy. Uh, this is from Ty, uh, Spunky the Cocker Spaniel. I did not say I like Beanie Babies, so this is maybe a generic item. I'm not sure, but I do actually collect uh, bagged, uh, well, Happy Meal toys, old ones, and these bagged Ty Happy Meal toys. However, I'm not sure if I actually own this one or not, so this is a so-so. I have to check to make sure if I own this one or not. Next we have, <laughs> this is a generic thing because he actually, on his Instagram, he showed off that he had a bunch of these, so I think every order literally gets one of these. So this is from Space Jam. Um, it's... Um, I'm not sure if it was McDonald's or Burger King. There's no uh, brand on this, but it's, uh, oh, I can't remember, Daffy Duck, I believe. I know Donald Duck is the other one, the, um, not these, not Warner Brothers. It's, um, Disney? Yeah, Disney's is Donald Duck. So this is Daffy Duck, and this is uh, from Space Jam. So uh, I've seen Space Jam. It's, I think it's overrated. I don't really like Daffy Duck all that much. So this is a meh. Um, it's kind of a generic thing that he threw in. So yeah. Um, next up we have a. Arcade 1-Up Collectibles Mini and Clip-On Plush. And you can get Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Galica, Hubert, Did Doug uh, characters. And um, feeling the bag and not even opening it, I'm going to say I got one of the ghosts from Pac-Man because it has those little feetsies I can feel. So I got one of those, and it's not a clip-on, it's just a plush. Um, I do like video games, and I, I'm okay with this, but it's not uh, vintage, and I thought most of this stuff was going to be vintage, except like the Funko and the thing, uh, the t-shirt, which I said I didn't want either of them, so I was a little surprised that not all of it was vintage. So you're not buying just vintage stuff. There will be other items in here that aren't. Uh, I did not know that going in. Next up, uh, we have a Nintendo figurine as a Mario Kart one. This is from 2002. I'm not sure if this was from Burger King or McDonald's, um, but it's Mario. So I don't have this figurine. So I liked this. This is a plus. And I guess technically vintage? Um, I wouldn't really call 2002 vintage, but I think a lot of people think it's vintage. I personally don't think it is. But uh, yeah, that's a plus. I told my I like Nintendo and video game stuff, so yeah. Uh, then we have a uh, what I can assume is trying to be a My Little Pony, but it's not. It's a knockoff, which I'm okay with this because it's actually really cute and I like it. So it is a unicorn. It actually looks a little bit like Miss Piggy to me, <laughs> but it's supposed to be a, like a My Little Pony unicorn figurine or something. So what's interesting about this is, well, one, it can attach to your keychain or something, but two, you see that this is see-through, and then there's something that says no in there, 
So it's basically like a magic eight ball. You ask it a question and it'll they say yes or no. So I really like this. So that is another plus. Oh, um, so I wanted to show this off. The um, bots, this isn't the, well, this isn't what it looked like when it came. It was actually wrapped in brown paper um, wrapping. And then under that was this. It was a Nickelodeon wrapping paper. I thought that was kind of cute. So I just wanted to show you a sample of what was uh, left of the wrapping paper. But um, one of the things I told him I like to collect, because he asked if you collected anything as a kid, I told him I collected pods and um, trading cards, like uh, uh, garbage pail kits. So he included a new, still in the package, which I still collect garbage pail kits, uh, even the modern ones. So this is a sealed pack of Battle of the Bands, and there's eight cards in there. So I was happy to get this. So this is adding to the plus pile. And then there's several stickers in here that were included with the um, trading cards. There's two uh, Fairly Odd Parents stickers, which I didn't say I liked Fairly Odd Parents at all. I actually really don't like that show. And then there's two Snoopy Peanut ones, which I'm okay with these because peanuts and they're kind of cute. So I liked these ones. I don't really care for the Fairly Odd Parents ones. Um, then the loose trading cards, because they're old, are um, a lot, and I do mean a lot, of Disney stuff. So there's a lot of um, the Little Mermaid stuff, and then there's just a lot of Disney things. There's even more my uh, the Little Mermaid stuff. Uh, different cards too, and then there's even more Disney items or cards and stuff so um i didn't mention that i liked the little mermaid owl uh, i did mention that i liked some disney stuff i didn't give any specifics so maybe he just randomly thought to put these in um i'm not sure so these are somewhat generic but I don't have any of these, so it's like, uh, I don't know how I feel about these. Uh, next up, the big item, which is unfortunate. So, I did say I like Care Bears, and um, while I do like this because it's the rainbow one, I cannot remember his name off the top of my head, so this is Care Bear. Unfortunately, this is from 2002, so it's a newer version of the ones that I usually collect. I collect the ones from the 80s, so I'm a little torn on this one as well. It's kind of a so-so on this one, and there's a lot of the so-so in here. So I'm just, I'm not too happy about this crate. Um... Yeah, which is unfortunate because I, I was really excited for this crate. Uh, next up, we have a Dark Oils um, figurine. I believe this is from Burger King. And I love Dark Oils. I actually said one of the uh, TV shows I used to watch was Dark Oils, and my favorite character was uh, Goliath. Um, this is Broadway, I believe. And yeah, I don't actually have this figurine, so this is a plus in its vintage. <laughs> um, then we have, again, I didn't say that I liked the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Notre, Notre Dame. Mm. 
Um, but I guess he just guessed or something. But it's one of the gargoyle statues. Maybe it's because I said gargoyles. Um, I actually own this one, so this one's a pass on for me. Then we have a VHS, Nightmare Before Christmas. I actually said I do really like Nightmare Before Christmas. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, unfortunately, I already own Nightmare Before Christmas on VHS because it's one of my favorite movies. So, of course, I already own it. So that's disappointing. Well, you know, there was a VHS supposed to be in the bots. I think every bit bots comes with a VHS, so it's disappointing that the only VHS you get is the one that you already have. I actually specifically asked for three different movies on VHS. He didn't get me any of them, so it's either he didn't have them, didn't want to look for them, or just gave me what he had on hand. Um, next we have two Goosebumps books. Now, about the uh, books, because he asks you what books did you used to read as a kid, I said Goosebumps, and I also said Sailor Moon Manga. And I told him which ones I didn't have, because I told him, I already own, like, most of the Goosebumps books. So what he actually did was he got me two of the Goosebumps Most Wanted books, which I don't know if I actually own any of these Goosebumps Most Wanted books. So, yeah, he got me two of these. So these are the newer um, versions or variations on Goosebumps. Um, I'm trying to see when these were made. 2012, so pretty new. Uh, I do like Goosebumps. I just don't, I don't know if I liked these or not. So it's again, it's a, I don't know. <laughs> and then the last thing is a comic. So this is The Secret Defenders. Um, and this is from 1993. And I don't really know anything about comic books. Really, comic books, the only reason I get them is because they have old um, ads in them for like junk food or TV shows or video games that, you know, some of these things aren't around anymore. They're really, really old. So I'm hoping, if nothing else, that I'll see some really nice ads in here but yeah it has like the Avengers on it which you know I know the Avengers but I know them from the movies not from the comic books so not sure on this one I think every big box comes with a comic book though so yeah I think that was a random throw in but, uh, yeah, that's it. So, things that I'm unsure on. These, this, this, the stickers, which maybe those were a little bonus item or something, the trading cards, The comic book. This guy, which I already have. In the VHS. Oh, and uh, the Care Bear. So things that I actually like. Uh, this one's a... I think I like this, so I'm going to put it in the like pile, so I like this. I like this, I like this, 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 and this. So I like six items. 
and most of it I don't like or I already have or I have mixed feelings on. So yeah, this was a very big letdown, especially for the money, $36. Now, yes, that includes shipping. Um, so it's free shipping. But sits items, these sits items, if I bought them myself, would not cost $36. Now, of course, he gave me more stuff, but the stuff I would never have bought for myself because I already own it. I don't care about it. It's too new. Yeah. So very, very disappointed on this. Um, one thing I should mention as a warning is I know he has a new store and he is in the process of doing things and he actually is sick with or he's recovering from COVID. He was in quarantine. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> and he's sending this stuff, so it's a little sus. Um, but yeah, he told me he's in quarantine right now and he's unable to do a lot of work. But he does not have on his website the ability to cancel a subscription. So, technically, I'm still subscribed. Um, the subscription renews on the 15th. And I, I messaged him through Instagram um, right around the first or second after the holiday. You know, a few days after the holiday. About canceling the subscription because I told him I, it was a one-off. I just wanted the one-off to try. And he said he's working on it. Um, in that, you know, we have time, but I'm getting a little worried. It's already the 8th of January. So if it's not up on his website by the 13th, I'm going to message him again and tell him I don't want another subscription. So to cancel my subscription either manually or I'm going to have to contact PayPal and tell them I'm not paying for this thing. Because I tried to cancel it and he doesn't have an option. So uh, be aware if you actually do get this box it, or bag or whatever that you might not be able to cancel it. I don't know if he is actually working on it and it's just taking more time because he's in quarantine or whatever. But for the moment, you can't cancel your subscription. So I honestly would not recommend getting this box, which is unfortunate because I was really looking forward to having a nostalgic box that is curated to your likes and dislikes. Maybe I was just too specific, but as a collector and a, somebody who enjoys these old things and has multiple of these old things, I do want specific items. So... Again, this isn't something that I would recommend for collectors. Maybe if you know somebody really likes these old toys but isn't a collector, get it for their birthday as a surprise or something. But even then, I really, I really can't recommend this. And it's unfortunate. So, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> um, sorry to make this video, but I just wanted to get my feelings out. Anyways, I hope this informed you. I don't know if I hope that you like it. But um, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.